Hi there! Today we're going to be showing you how to properly prepare a microscope slide. There are multiple methods depending upon what it is exactly you're going to be looking at. I'm Chris and with me here is Adora. So first we're going to be looking at a simple dry mount. This is the act of taking any kind of sample, typically something that's dry in nature, some kind of plant that you found outside, maybe a bug. In this case, Adora was generous enough to donate one of her hairs. Take the sample you're working with. In this case, we're gonna do part of the hair because it's rather long. Taking a cover slip, dropping it down simply to help hold your sample in place. Now, if you're dealing with something that maybe is a little bit smaller in nature, something that you wanna make sure is spread out, you can look at the deeper structure then you're gonna to wanna to do a wet mount slide. In this case, we're gonna be using a couple of little plant leaves. We'll take those, place them in our mortar and pestle. We have some water already in there as well, and we can grind those up. So after you've ground up your sample and you've mixed it in with some kind of water-like solution, you can then take some of that, something like a pipette, take your slide, place just a few drops on the slide. You don't want to put too much in there, otherwise it's going to go overboard. And then, with another cover slip, place it directly on top. And you'll see the water's now going to spread out. This helps to also flatten out all of your sample in order to be able to easily see those smaller structures. Finally, we have the case of you working with something that's alive that maybe would be wiggling around, moving around underneath your slide. In this case, we took a sample from a leftover mug. I'm not gonna tell you where it came from. Suffice it to say, you don't wanna drink out of it. We mix that with some water as well, so very similar to the wet mount procedure. We will take our slide with our pipette, place just two to three drops And in this case, you're gonna be fixing it onto place with a heat gun. So turning on that heat gun. Now there are a couple of reasons why you wanna do this. One, like I said before, is that right now, in this solution that was applied, they're alive. We want them to be dead. Secondly, later on when you're dealing with anything very small like bacteria or fungi, you're typically gonna to wanna to stain them different colors. If this is liquid and moving around, and you're trying to add on stains, then they're gonna be sloshing around as well. You might even lose your sample. So we need to make sure that it's fixed in place. And now we have a fixed sample. This is ready for staining or whatever next steps you wanna take. But as I say, it is heat fixed on there and will not go away. So after you've prepared your microscope slides, you're now ready to visualize them. When you have your slide ready, making sure that the platform is all the way down. You'll take your slide. This is our heat fix sample. Place it on the platform. Let the clamp go down. And now you're ready to go. 